the number one obstacle of students learning to free dive is not how long they can hold their breath. It's not the fear of the ocean, but learning how to equalize the pressure in the ears. In this video, we're going to teach you what equalization is, how to equalize, and then also give you some really good exercises to help you prepare for your freediving course. My name's Quab. My name's Anna, and this is your introduction to frenzel equalization. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about why you feel discomfort in your ears when you dive under the water. When we dive, the surrounding water pressure increases and the gas is compressed. This means air spaces get smaller. At 10 meters, there is two bar of atmospheric pressure. So your lungs are made of soft tissue and can compress on their own. So at 10 meters, your lungs are compressed to half their original size. Now, looking at this bottle, at 20 meters, there is three bar of pressure, and the bottle is a third of its original size. On the way back up, the bottle re-expands as the pressure reduces. So why do our ears hurt? Well, behind the eardrum is a non-compressible airspace called the middle ear. When this airspace gets compressed, it pulls on the eardrum. This causes discomfort and can cause injury if the air pressure is not equalized. When we equalize our ears, what we're doing is pushing air through the eustachian tubes into the middle ear. We must equalize the middle ear often if you want to free dive. If you can't equalize, you can't free dive. So let's see if you can equalize. What I want you to do is just grab your nose and blow. So pinch and blow. And you should hear some sound in your ears, like a little swooshing sound. So let's try that again. And this time you should see your nostrils flaring. You're gonna hear the sound in your ears. But also I want you to see if there's any movement in your throat or your tongue. And then you can also do a little check to your belly to see if that's moving as well. If you were able to hear the pressure change in your ears, you could see your nostrils flare and there was movement in your throat, then great, you're doing Prenzel. Even still, keep watching because we'll give you some exercises to make it better. Now, if you weren't able to, to feel this, then 100% you're going to have to practice dry first. So the following exercises are going to be really good for you. Practice them hard, get a mirror, because remember, if you can't equalize, you can't free dive. Okay, let's take a closer look to better understand the following dry exercises. So the nasal cavity is separated from the oral cavity, the mouth, by the hard and soft palate. The soft palate controls the airflow in and out of the nose and mouth. The glottis, the vocal folds, allow us to speak and control the air from the lungs. The larynx is a large muscle in the throat at the base of the tongue and the tongue sits in the mouth. To compensate the middle ear, we need to push air through the eustachian tubes which sit above the soft palate in the nasal cavity. So the pinch and blow method involves pinching the nose and pushing air up from the lungs using the respiratory muscles. This isn't a preferred way to equalize as you free dive deeper because it takes effort, especially as your lungs get more compressed. Equalizing using the frenzel maneuver means you don't need to contract your respiratory muscles to push air into the middle ear, which means more comfortable diving. For the frenzel to work, the nose is pinched, the glottis needs to be closed to separate the oral cavity from the lungs, the soft palate must be neutral to allow the air to move freely from the mouth to the nasal cavity, so we simply lift the tongue and the larynx to compress the air in the mouth and throat. This creates pressure in the oral and nasal cavity. So in this exercise, we're going to look at glottis control by opening and closing the vocal fold. Take a deep breath in, open your mouth and drop your tongue. And now just open the vocal fold. Close, open, close, open, close. Exercise two, soft palate awareness. So let's begin by inhaling through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And we're bringing awareness to what's moving, what's happening at the back of the throat. And we're going to switch directions now. We're going to inhale through the mouth, out of the nose. Inhale through the mouth, out of the nose. And now we're going to alternate directions. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Inhale the mouth, exhale the nose. Inhale the nose, exhale the mouth. Great. 
Exercise number three, soft palate neutral. So remember, we need the soft palate neutral so the air can move freely from the oral to the nasal cavity. So place two fingers in front of your nose and mouth and you're just gonna exhale. And you wanna feel warm air come out the nose and the mouth at the same time. If this is working, your soft palate is in neutral. So now we're gonna look at getting some movement in the larynx. So push your tongue right out and then pull it right back down again. Push right out and then back down again. One more time, out and back down. So we're gonna do the same thing now, but with the mouth closed and just allow the tongue to push up against the back of the teeth. So lift and drop, lift and drop. You should see this if you're in front of a mirror. And for girls though, it's a little less obvious. So you can put your hand there and you'll just feel the larynx lifting and falling. In order to frenzel equalize, we need to create pressure in the oral and nasal cavity. We do this by closing the glottis pinching the nostrils, and then we're gonna create a seal with our tongue. The easiest way to do this is to go to T position, which is the position your tongue goes to when you say the letter T. So just try doing that. Notice where your tongue goes to. And then you can put your tongue there, and when you release, just make the T sound. You can do the same thing with the letter K or K by making the K sound. But the main thing is that the tongue engages with the roof of the mouth. Okay, so we're gonna put it all together. So pinch your nose, put your tongue in T position, lift up your larynx, and when you do so, you should see your nostrils flare and hear sound in your ears. Also, check there's no movement in your belly. If you're ticking those boxes, you're doing frenzel. Once you feel like you've gotten the hang of your frenzel, you can try exercise number eight. This is doing your frenzel upside down. <laughs> so use a chair or a box or whatever's comfortable and just practice hanging upside down frenzling. If this isn't working, maybe break it up into stages and move the body from a horizontal position to gradually vertical. Just keep practicing, it will get better. Exercise number one, soft palate neutral. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose and mouth at the same time. Do this for a few minutes and just notice what soft palate neutral feels like. Exercise number two, this is glottis control. So you're gonna progressively inhale all the way to the top and then exhale using the control of your glottis and repeat this five times. Exercise number three, larynx lift. So stick your tongue out and lift your larynx and we wanna do three sets of 20. Number four, tube stretching. So pinch the nose and frenzel, but hold the pressure in the nasal cavity so the nostrils will flare. And just add a bit more pressure using the tongue and larynx just to see how it feels. Hold this pressure for about five, 10 seconds. So like you're stretching the tubes. Um, release the pressure and repeat 10 times. Exercise number five, tube stretching on exhale. It's the same as the last exercise, but on a full exhale. So exhale your air and then hold the pressure in the nasal cavity for five to 10 seconds. And just try and relax as much as possible whilst doing this. Number six, tube pumps fast. So pinch the nose and frenzel and keep pumping. Do lots of quick pumps and see how relaxed and gentle you can feel the pressure change in the ears. Equalize your ears on the surface before you dive and equalize often. Never push your ears to the point of discomfort. Remember, if you can't equalize, you can't free dive. Head position is important during your free dive. Keep your chin in as this will help with the equalization as there's less tension in the neck. Stay hydrated. Mucus is the nemesis of free divers. If you have a lot of mucus, you can't equalize. After every frenzel, get into the habit now of dropping the tongue back down after each equalization. Okay guys, one of the keys to equalization is not to use too much force. We often see people you know, trying to equalize but what you actually need to do is stay really relaxed so your face should be nice and soft, your belly soft, your shoulders down, just gently equalize. 
easy. Hey guys, thanks for. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. We're super happy to have got this video out to you. We've been meaning to do it for a while, and it's really going to give you a good head start on your EQ practice. Don't worry, everybody struggles with EQ, so it's completely normal. Just practice, and you will get better. We promise you. If you're still having issues at the end, don't worry. There's going to be an instructor who will be able to troubleshoot these with you. The main thing is that you put in the time now and practice at home. If you have any questions, just drop us a line in the comments. But don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you can have access to more free diving tutorials. And hopefully we'll see you in the ocean. Bye!